Hey YouTube, what's up? Stallion here. Checking in with the new Mob of the Dead map today. I'm so stoked it came out today. Uh, I'm going to load it up real quick. Uh, I do let the uh, the intro play out because I think it's super sick. So let's take a look at that and then I'll speak about what I learned during the map. But you guys have to check this out. I, I seriously was like grinning like a little girl. This is the coolest intro. Treyarch did amazing with the zombie map. But it's definitely mine fun. It's it's very hard to figure out. We'll go through with another fifty. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Nine thirty. Lights out. Star begins to strike. Lights out. Star begins to strike. How are those tonight, Ferguson? How are those? Very good. Doing great. Very good. My boy Tommy. Chaz Palmetary. Jesus. Ain't that swell? Ain't that swell? Hey Finn. Get that tip for Saturday. Michael Madsen. They definitely have an all-star cast for this. My dog. My dog, Ray Liotta. And Joe Pettilano in his last one. We all know Tiny Stallion. This is going to be my favorite friggin' zombie map for sure. Just to have mobsters just doing this shit so Once sick. The gets the keys, we Once move the on to stage two. Let's get moves. Let's get moves. Go, fellas. Curtis here, the warden's Go. private collection. Boys in the laundry stash the pot. Of course they fucking did. Of course they fucking did. What the fuck? I killed him. You've been in the joint too long, gal. You've forgotten how to get shit done. Fucking gangster. Get ready, guys. Get ready. What the fuck? Keep in mind, a bunch of guidos that don't know how to kill a zombie. Nah. No headshots. Look at that. This ain't right. Hell yeah. Going on here. You don't say, Weasel. Where are those screams coming from? Oh, shit. But you'll see why they all have to die. And welcome back to Trash, folks. Let's jump right in, see what this is all about. First time through, first run. Let's check it out together. Here we go, Italian Stallion checking out Mob of the Dead. I'm fucking stoked. Alright, I'm blue. And a ghost. No, I knew this. I knew about Afterlife. I kind of did a little research before. And um, it says levitate. It's really jump. A is a jump, a really high jump. Um, as you can see, that little blue door over there kind of... It's Certain doors are available when you're in Afterlife mode and certain when you're alive, obviously. And then I'm on the ground over there. That little blue star signifies where you're at. So there's your guy. You get to bring yourself back to life. As you see, you got your little blue thing over here on top of your ammo. says the number three. Um, I found out that that's actually how many afterlifes you have. You can purposely down yourself. You know, was, I didn't get very far in this one. It was more of an intro, and I was kind of looking around and acting like a dope and went down. But that little red box that I just passed was uh, a box that you could electrocute yourself. Now here's a map that I found with the warden's key, tanks, all that stuff. Where you are, the warden's office, the showers, the infirmary. So that's the important locations to get all the parts and stuff. And there's your plan. Your plan is to pretty much get on the roof, build a plane, and get the hell out of here. But doing that, I I have no idea how to do that. So we're going to have to do that together. Um, like I said, that's my first run. I see a, the M14, typical gun right here on my left. A couple barriers, a couple entrances. That door does not open. Let's try to see if there's anything in there, any clues. I mean, this place is ginormous, guys. Like, seriously. It's, I think it's the biggest zombie map. Even bigger than Die Rise. 
it just boggles my mind that freaking Treyarch can do so good with zombies, and then honestly, I'm kind of disappointed with the multiplayer stuff. I don't know, but this is so good. I don't know. I don't. I think it'd be hard to impress me with multiplayer. I mean, this is just super cool. I think this is probably by far my favorite map. Not because they're Guidos, but because it's really sick. I mean, it's Alcatraz. The whole theory behind it, it just, it works. You know what I mean? It really does. I can't believe they've never done this before. Because they picked some other iconic locations. And why did it take so long to pick Alcatraz? But I'm glad they did. Kudos, Treyarch. I think this map is sick. So let's rebuild a couple barriers. I'm trying to save a couple points to explore a little bit. Um... I do goof it up, guys. I only make it to, like, round five, so don't, don't get too excited. But I will post more videos as I find stuff and little things, tips, tricks, perk machines. I find a couple in here, but I don't even think I turn any on. Uh, like I said, it's my first time through. I'm trying to see where all the zombies come from, where all the doors are. There's another door. So there's one right here on my le right, and then there's one all the way down this hallway to the left that goes into Cellgate. So there's your two options of which way you want to go. And I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm almost positive, since this map has nothing to do with the transit set, I'm assuming it had, like, you're not going to have Perma Jug or anything like that. I'm assuming. I haven't tried it, and I don't feel like trying it at the moment, because, <laughs> uh, obviously a buy. But I'm assuming you don't have Perma Jug. I really, I don't see how you would. It's not connected to the maps at all. So there we go. Got his killed. Rack up a couple points. Walk through you motherfuckers. I love how they talk and this thing is so pimp. I, I swear to god I'm never gonna stop playing this map. But yeah, definitely as I find stuff guys, you know, I'll upload videos. This this will be my my baby for a while. Multiplayer, I don't know, I kinda do on and off with that honestly. Like I get so frustrated with multiplayer. And even zombies. I've I've been shafted and Treyarch screwed so many times in zombie maps. You know, triple hit and going like I've got frustrated and just called it quits for a while, but I'll tell you what, after the five rounds of playing this, I'm convinced. Alright, now what is this dog? What the hell? But since he's not eating me, I think I'm going to chill next, so maybe it's a good thing. And I actually find out as you kill zombies, I'm seeing this, as you kill him right in front of this dog, he actually like kind of sucks them in his mouth and eats them. Not sure what that has to do yet, but I'm sure if he's feedable, then something has to happen. But it's weird, he disappears at the end of the round. I try to... You know, post up here and give him a couple zombies. And see, he just keeps eating them. So, not sure what this does yet, but like I said, as soon as I, if you guys know, throw it in the comments. Let me know, you know. This is Max Ammo. Shit. I just this thought it was super cool. I mean, seeing this dog, I saw it in the, uh, in the trailer, but I had assumed that it was actually an enemy. I didn't know that it was gonna eat zombies for you, you know what I mean? That's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't kill them. Please, let me correct that statement. It doesn't kill them for you. You must kill them. That's what I was trying to test right here. I was trying to see if it'll actually just absorb them. No. You have to kill them first, and then he sucks in the dead bodies. I, like I said, there's got to be a point to it, or else it wouldn't do it. And then the round caches, and he just kind of disappears. So I don't think I accomplished what he's supposed to do, because nothing happened. But I'm sure it does have a purpose. Everything in this map has to. I mean, it's so big, like... Oh my god, I haven't figured out half of this stuff yet. I'm like, round four, you know, I fed him, now watch. He eats that zombie as soon as the round starts. He just kind of like goes back to a red thing in the wall. Like the yeah, I don't, know, don't know what makes them come or go. I don't know if it's a round-based thing, if they're there every couple rounds. I don't know. Like I said, if you guys have any info, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Perk machines, not purchasable. Not at all. Cannot purchase machines. You have to be in afterlife mode. You have to kill yourself in one of those red boxes or actually be down by a zombie. And it's not a bad thing if you go down by, with a zombie in here. You have those three afterlives. You, it's perfectly acceptable to go down by a zombie. And if you do, don't hurry up and revive yourself. Explore. You have a good two minutes to look around, see if you have any of those blue openings, see if there's any blue markers. Everything's different in afterlife mode. There's a lot of different things that, you know, to look for. So please, you know, take advantage. Don't just, you know, revive yourself. Um, and by all means, if I miss any information, fill me in. I, I definitely want to learn about this, too. I'm not in a good spot here. I think this is actually... Uh, no, I don't go down here. I go down a little bit farther up by the gondola. But, yeah, like I said, I got I got kind of lost and stuck. I was like, oh, I was down here, and then I didn't know where I was. So it definitely, the map is confusing. It's a multi-level, you know, prison. It was confusing for the prisoners that were there at the time. So imagine us. You know what I mean? Of course it's going to be confusing. 
Um, look at this. I mean, we passed like three walkways. I'm like, I forgot where the perk machine was. And then when I do go down, I had three. I felt like an idiot. I had three afterlives. I had no reason to stop at round five. I was supposed to get in this gondola and keep going. But you'll see here, I, I fall off in afterlife mode. I fall off one of these little, you know, cell blocks. And you'll see how incredibly hard it is to actually get back to your body. I mean, this map is massive. I, I'm really impressed. I mean, but also kind of frustrated that I couldn't get back. Here we go. Here we go down right. Okay, bam. Afterlife mode. Coolest thing. So, you know, it's almost like quick revive. Don't have to worry about doing that. You can zap your zombies with this cool little electric thing. You also turn on stuff. So now I turn on the gondolas. I'm trying to get the zombies out of here. And somehow, I did one of these. I was like, oh, there's something down here. Let's go turn it on. And I jumped off two sets. And I'm like, ugh. Then I realized, I was like, shit, how do I get back up? And that was pretty much the summation of this match. I kind of felt so stupid even posing this. But I, I promised once I played Mob of Dead the first time, the first run through would be up. And, you know, this is it. Unfortunately, didn't get very far. Uh, I'll be doing another one later. This is not a good first run, you know, for sure. I wasn't happy with it. Um, but wanted you guys to get a first look, at least see the trailer, see how it looks. Hope you guys like it. Like I said, if you have any info, please put it in the bottom section in the comments. You know, like the video if you guys think this is sick like I do. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing upcoming stuff on Mob of the Dead because trust me, I'm not stopping there. Five rounds is not my freaking top rounds. Like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and, you know, we'll do some work. Later, guys.